Hi, hello everyone, this is Astrofox, it's Season 3, Round 2 of this arena game. Let's go ahead and get into it. We've got Agartha against the Yomi to start. So we have Bronze Strymon, the Oracle of the Dead. Greatsword, similar setup and everything. Against Water Grave, Chen, the Yama Uma. There's a ton of water gems. We'll see if that's enough to spam water elementals to a victory. Or she's going to get caught off guard by a shade. I don't know. I think he'll be able to just kind of plow through that water elemental. He's doing so much damage ahead. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be enough water gems even for just killing this thing, much less everything else that everyone is going to throw in. But it is taking a while for once. I mean, it's not the killiest against hordes, you know. This is a, an anti thug, not a. Not a thug, you know, you wouldn't use this in a re very regular game very often with this setup. But in the arena, it's a bit of a different setup. And he, you know, slashes and kills that old woman who dared defy him. Now we've got my, uh, you know, guaranteed win. Three is a pattern versus uh, Amelia, the Kedisot, who might be the second giant to uh, die to a bird. That's, um, I don't know why I keep getting lucky about getting matched up with that, but uh, I'll take it. Anyways, now it's three in a row versus Sen Chumps, the Jotun Jarl. It's got a Direwolf Pelt and an Enchanted Pike, which is pretty high damage. It's got high length, so you could have some uh, repelling. And he's just, you know, he should be ashamed that he did not kill that tiny bird woman in one hit, is all I'm going to say. Now we've got Agartha against Nivelheim. So Agartha should have this. They've got a much superior uh, thug, much more equipment and everything, but 37 damage is enough to like threaten things. And also the Oracle has become scared in a developed battle fright. So we'll see what happens. Okay, that's Shadow gone. Yeah, uh, he took a little damage, taking some more. He's uh, slapping this guy real good there, so. Oh, they both got regen, I forget. Yeah, they both have our intelligent players that took good blesses. And not silly, only attack and defense skill. Anyways, it's a win for Agartha there. Moving on, we've got Zabalba going up against them. Now we have Skull for the Skull Throne. He's obviously going to be the one contributing it here in just a second. What is with these shameful displays of not killing these chumps in one, one battle? One sweep. Um, hey, this is a god. So we've got Nug Lucas Axelson, the Tetra Kyer, who's kitted out the Sword of Sharpness, Mind Shield, a main gulch of parrying, which I like stacking just a ton of those. They're they're fun to do. Uh, a stinger. So he's got a spear as well. Does, does this have ambidextrous on it somewhere? Yes, so he doesn't give a shit about you know wielding weapons of different lengths. Dragon helmet, crown of lead. Uh, this thing can't have chest armor, but it doesn't give a shit. Because he's just going to iron skin himself. Brimstone boots and a burning pearl. He's going to iron skin himself. He's also got 32 strength in all of these attacks. So this thing starts getting some swords of swiftness in his hands. It's going to start chopping up people. I mean, not that it's not going to just eat that dog, man. Which I will uh, uh, go back and see what its name was. So this is McCone's god. So Rainbow. That's legit his OJ. Oh, yeah, we've seen him before. So he made his return and was eaten by a, a, a god. And now we've got Makone against Agartha. You know, I think this might be this oracle's end of the line here. Because uh, that's a hell of a chassis. It's a literal god he is fighting. It may not have, re it doesn't have regen though, but it does have like three times as much, four times as much health, and twice the strength, and twice as many arms. So congratulations to McCone, I'll catch you next time.